there everyone my name is Samantha and today I am going to be reviewing the Night Huntress series by Janine Frost. So the books in this series are Halfway to the Grave, One Foot in the Grave, At Grave's End, Destined for an Early Grave, First Drop of Crimson, Eternal Kiss of Darkness, This Side of the Grave, one grave at a time. Don't know if you can really see the cover, but it's Home for the Holidays right there. Yes. Lastly, Up from the Grave. These two books, Eternal Kiss of Darkness and First Crop Drop of Crimson, actually are part of the Night Huntress world and do not star our two main characters from the rest of the series, Cat and Bones. But these two are, these two books are starring two of the lesser main characters in the other book series. There's also another um, series of the um, Night Huntress world starring a different character, Vlad, but I have not read those, but I might pick them up at some point, just not at the moment. So this book is about a woman named Catherine Crawfield, who also goes by Cat throughout the entire series, who is born half vampire when her mother is raped by a vampire. And because she is half vampire, she has increased speed and um, lot and a lot of strength and lots of other things that go with being a vampire. Because of her mother's prejudice against the vampires, Cat feels like it's her responsibility to go out every night and kill vampires to make up for the fact that she is half vampire. And surprise, she's actually not too bad at it. But enter Bones. Of course, the stunningly gorgeous vampire. There's always a super hottie in these type of books. And when he win witnesses Cat trying to kill and succeeding to kill a vampire, he kidnaps her and tries to figure out who she is working for because Bones is a hitman who kills other vampires. But then he finally discovers of her heritage and that she is a half, half vampire. Bones then makes a deal with Cat that he will help her learn how to fight and to find her rapist father if she helps him catch a vampire that he has been after for a very long time. I mentioned in my favorite books video that this was among my favorite book series and it is st it still is but I had to reread them because the last book in the series had come out and I had not read a few of the other books in the series. These are the books that I had not read the two Night Huntress World books, the novella and uh, the Up From the Grave, which is the last book. I had forgotten how much I enjoyed reading these books. Mind you, there were a few things I did not like, which I will get to, but I really enjoyed reading these books and I would suggest these to whoever likes paranormal romance, if you like vampires. And there are actually a few other types of supernatural beings in this book series, but they come in later, so I don't want to spoil it for you. I would give this book series a 4.5 out of 5. I enjoyed reading this book series. I got really into it. I, I really did not want to concentrate on anything else in my life other than these book series, and I just wanted to pick them up all of the time and read and do nothing else with my life because I am a loser. And I don't even care because they were so good. This book series had lots of good naughty scenes, so if you are into reading that, there are quite a few of them, but it is not an erotica, so do not think that this entire thing is full of sex. Yes, no, it's not. But if you are not looking for that, do not pick up these books. There are sex scenes. Yes, you can skip over them. And they really aren't important to this, the book, but there are them. And if you are, have virgin eyes and you don't want to watch, not watch, read that, then I would just skip them or just skip the series entirely. Okay, now on to my annoyances. One of them is just my personal thing because I hold grudges and I just get really mad really easily. It is how easily Cat forgives Bones. After all of the crap that he pulled, oh my goodness, I would have, I would, mm, if my boyfriend pulled half of the crap that Bones did, we would have been broken up 50 times over. Mm -mm, mm -mm, I would, no. Hell no! The other one is how often it is stated how gorgeous Bones is. Yes, I understand. He is gorgeous. And 
most paranormal romances or romances in general love to state how beautiful their main characters are it's just i understood it the first time you said he was gorgeous i didn't need it throughout every single book of the series oh not my favorite thing about reading romance books and lastly oh my god this makes me so mad this book series did not have an epilogue they had an epilogue in four of the different books four of them including the novella they had an epilogue in the novella but they did not have it in the last book in the series the last book they had it in the second to the last book but not the last book that makes me so angry oh my gosh i don't even i don't even know i don't know, I don't know. But overall, I would suggest this book series. I really enjoyed reading it, and I will enjoy reading it many more times. Not my favorite book, but it is one of my favorite books. So yes, read them if you like paranormal romance. Suggested. So thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed watching, because I enjoyed talking. See you next time.